Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on implementing JWT refresh tokens in existing Angular application with ISP.NET Core. In the last video tutorial, we finished coding the handle HTTP response error method, and in this video tutorial, we will be coding the global error handler method, which will be used to throw errors to a client if there are any errors caught by our catch error method. So without wasting any further time, let's start coding this. So the first thing that we want to do when we receive an HTTP error response is we will create a error message string. So let error message be an object of type string. And this will actually hold the message that we want to send to the client. So we will first create this object. Then the next thing that we want to do is we will set some if else condition over here. So first thing that we want to check if this error response is an instance of error. So whatever error response we are getting here. We want to check if the error response dot error, the error inside the error response it's an instance of error now why are we checking this because the response the error can be caused due to some network related issues on the client side therefore we want to handle it accordingly it's not caused because of the server side uh, issues but it might be caused because of the network side issues of the client side so therefore what we want to do is we want to say if the error is an instance of error then we want to set the error message is equal to the following an error occurred and then we want to concatenate the error response itself so error response dot error dot message so we have set the error message here if in case the error is an instance of error which was caused by some issues on the client side in their on their network now if it was not caused by some client side error then we have to handle it accordingly which means it was caused by the server side of our application therefore we have an else statement here for everything else so i i will set the error message something like this and this is not quotation this is the back code symbol which is on your tilde button on the keyboard uh, and what i'm going to say is back and return code and I'm going to then concatenate the error response dot status, whether it's 401, 404, so not 401, 401 will be handled here. So if it's 404, 502, whatever, we are going to handle it here, correct? So when we handle it, we'll say we'll return the code and inside the body, we received the following error. We will also display that. So by uh, error response dot error property. Now, this will help us to find out if there is any clues that's available to debug the issue when a client calls and says or oh, informs us or calls and says oh there was a problem this is an error that we are receiving so it's easy for a developer to debug the issue and finally then we want to return using the throw error method the error itself so our error is not the string anymore it's the error message so in either of the cases, whatever the error message is set, we will send it back to the client. So that's it. That's our global error handler. You can also console.log the error message to see what exactly you are receiving, but you don't have to. So in this global error handler method, which is now created, we have to make sure we use it in our application, the JWT interceptor method. So here we are throwing an error. So instead of throwing a regular error, 
we'll handle the error and throw the response so we will say call the handle error method and that's it so the error will be passed here to the parameters automatically by the throw error method and then it will be handled accordingly and the client will receive the response similar thing to do in the method here where we are throwing errors so we had an method where here we are handle we have the handle error so here we will uh, return the error that is passed over here will go to the handle error method and then it will be handled accordingly and the client will receive a response so now this should be it for this video tutorial where we are creating and using the global error handler method but in the next video tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to do some changes to the account.service.ts file and we will modify some values here we need to do this once we are done with this we will then go ahead and test the JWT token functionality in the browser itself so please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy if you have any questions use the comment section I am getting questions about uh, users who are asking me about when I am going to create other videos I try my best to upload videos uh, regularly uh, but sometimes I cannot do them every day but I do have some projects that I have created and I will upload them uh, their tutorials uh, very soon so for now this video tutorial is ended and please like and subscribe my channel in the next video tutorial we will modify the account.service.ts class and don't forget the code is available in devops repos link is in video description thank you